What is up my fellow gamers? This is Hunter's Bow Gaming and welcome back to another episode of our Nuzlocke Pokemon Shield Challenge. Now today what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue right where I left off, right in front of my home from the very beginning. And we're going to try to catch a couple Pokemon. Hopefully not lose any more of our Pokemon. And potentially make it to the wild area. And that is my plan for today. Now... It shouldn't be too hard, but I do expect to train quite a bit. Because with every Pokemon game, you gotta do a little bit of training. Oh. Apparently I didn't talk to my mom last episode, so let's go do that real quick. Alright, can we go Pokemon hunting now? Yes, go talk to the Pokemon professor's daughter. Ooh. That's Grovit. Take that. Wow. This is a high level Scrobit. Wow, and those were even attacks. This could end badly already. Yeah, if it gets a critical hit, I am screwed. Okay, I'm good. Boom, baby. Alright, so since this is our only Pokemon, it is only natural that we heal it. Actually, I am going to try to catch this Rookie Deep because I actually really like it. It is probably one of my favorite Pokemon in this gen. Probably not my most favorite, but it is probably one of my favorites. Makes life easier. Now, I could have caught that Squovit. That would have been an easy catch. Since I'm going to use this Pokemon, I don't know what I should name it, because I kind of want to name it. I'm going to name it... Flapper. No, because it's a guy. Hmm. I'm going to name it Arthur. Because it's a knight. Oh... Maybe I should have named it Monty. That would be funny. I don't really want a Wulu, so I'm just gonna keep going. Hey Charizard, Leon must be nearby. Yep, called it. Hey Leon. Now I'm gonna go, this is basically explaining about the Pokemon challenge. Pokédex and all that stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip over this real quick. Alrighty, everybody, I am back. I went ahead and skipped through a couple cutscenes, I went to the Pokémon Center, healed up my Pokémon, and I got myself a new wardrobe. So now we are ready to continue on and catch ourselves some more Pokémon. What's up, Hop? The gym challenge? Oh, that's where we go to do some gym stuff. Anyways, let's keep going. Right, Hop? Yeah. You got the right idea. Okay, so they didn't actually show me how to catch Pokemon because they had already done one before. So they just gave me more. And I'm going to start doing a little bit of a training montage. Ooh, a low tag. 
paddle. Okay, this should be backwards. This should do a sufficient amount because it is a water grass type. It should be normal. I'm astonished. Sorry, bad pun. I'm glad it does give XP to both Pokemon rather than just the one. Crap, I didn't need to do that. Alright, let's make it down the hill. Hopefully without interruption this time. I mean, there will be a few because there's a couple trainers down the road. Which I don't mind. Ooh, there's a Choodle right there. Probably catch one of those. Never actually used one before, but I am doing one in my Soul Link challenge with Dalton. So if I like the one that I'm using it with Dalton, I might actually keep using the one I found in this one. Alrighty, one down, two more to go. I'll try to catch this cheater real quick. Ooh, this one will be a fun battle. I don't feel like losing my <laughs> score buddy. Okay, should be fine for at least one more hit if I can try to catch it after that. Bingo, we got ourselves a pretty good shootle at this level. Just not expecting to find such high level Pokemon around here. Usually they're like at around 5 at the highest. I mean, that one was level 7. I didn't give that one a nickname. I'll have to remedy that later. Anyways, next trainer coming right up. Actually, real quick, let's go ahead and heal Score Bunny again. And Joodle as well. Might as well.
Cute and strong. Together in combination. You're going down. Oh gosh, I forgot about it. <laughs> Joodle. Hopefully this one won't know water gun, but it might, so I'm gonna keep my wits about. Ooh, that was the only one? Sweet! So, yeah, I like it how they implement how the, they're like, I couldn't beat Hop. He just passed. But I'm gonna beat you. Oh, no, you're going down. Honestly, I've always thought, like, the little animation for Blip Bug has been kind of, like, compact. Like, they stretched it a little thin. I feel like they could pull it out a little bit, and it'd still look pretty good. But that's just me. Nick it. All right, two more hits should do the trick. To beat the quick, you gotta be quicker. I know that I need a little bit of experience before I phase hop because I need to be able to finish that battle really quick. So let's go through a training montage real quick. everybody after the little training montage we finally have double kick which was the reason i was training it is going to help me in this next battle so much let's hop right into it of course there's a little bit of story stuff beforehand so i'm just going to skip straight to the battle Alrighty, the battle with Hop, my riot although probably won't be too much of a battle because i did learn double kick Perfect. 
seconds against a 12. Let's see how well this works. Bye bye. Yep, I've I've learned about time matchups. I've known about. Don't worry about that. Just worry about your Pokemon that are slowly dying off. <laughs> One of those movies like poke, 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 poke. It's so adorable. Too bad he won't have the chance to do it again. Alrighty, rookie, last one. I don't need no berries. I can take you down with my fist and my firepower. Actually, not gonna lie, slightly overestimated. But, oh well. Makes this match easier. That means we can get to the wild area quicker. Now, I know basically from here on out it is a bunch of cutscenes, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip to us making it to the wild area. Alrighty everybody, right behind me is the wild area. We finally made it. But I'm going to leave the wild area and the area after it for the next episode. I have had a lot of fun today catching a bunch of new Pokemon and making sure none of them faint in this particular challenge. Again, I am doing the Nuzlocke challenge. That means if any of my Pokemon faint, I can't use them again. They are gone. If it's not a shiny, I will more than likely release it. But that doesn't mean I won't take measures to make sure that won't happen. But in, in any case, if you guys like it, do leave a like down below and do consider subscribing for daily gaming content. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!